There are those days of fishing that we remember for the rest of our lives, and I had one of those fabulous days recently on the Merrimack River in the Missouri Ozarks. It was a cloudy, cool, damp Saturday morning, a perfect day for catching brown trout. Brown trout avoid strong light, but on cloudy days, they often go in the feeding fringes, and I quickly found that I could catch them on silver or gold spoons. With the dark conditions, the browns had moved out from under the cut banks and out into the current to chase minnows and crayfish. Well, you can't land them all. When the cloud cover broke and the sun came out, the browns went and hid, but I soon discovered that I could catch rainbows and a few browns on hair jigs made of fox squirrel tails that I had tied myself. The Merrimack River is chock full of trout holding habitat. Casting my eighth ounce hair jig upstream and bumping it along the bottom worked like a charm. I'd seen quite a few other fishermen when I came to the river, but I walked past them and put some distance between us, and soon I had the river to myself. And with the threatening rains, almost everybody left. By noon, the sun had warmed things up considerably and it turned into a beautiful day on the Merrimack. I couldn't believe my good fortune as I caught dozens and dozens of brown and rainbow trout on a weekend. This one was a solid 17 inch rainbow that clobbered my hair jig and boy do they feel powerful in the swift water. Around 1 p.m. the wind picked up and heavy cloud cover and rain moved in and the browns went on another feeding spree. I tied a spoon back on and the action went nuts as one brown trout after another chased the flashy spoon. I finished the day with 59 trout. I just could not catch number 60 as the fishing began to slow down. So what a fabulous day I'd spent on the Merrimack River and almost totally alone. I was very happy, content, and satisfied as I completed another Outside Again adventure.